I need to take you out. I'm sorry. For you mere your stigma. You have to go here. Because I've got my variegated plants that I soak overnight, these ones. Because these ones got skinny leaves and I need to water them because they like water, that is. So now I need to put it here because I can't just put them out, straight out into the open, like this ones here. So this area here only gets morning sun and the afternoon sun, as you can see now, look. It's way over there, where the wind is pretty strong. Look at that, it's been so windy. I think it's about 25, 30 knot wind right now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the clouds moving pretty fast. So if I, did you see that? There you go. Anyway. <laughs> so we got one, we got this other one. This is leopard and yar, my yar. Oh, pirate treasure. And this one is Orion. So these ones are actually quite uh, very hardy. It can be exposed to the sun <laughs> straight away. But since it was in a box, I would not risk it because it's going to burn. So anyway, in this video, I just want to show you my setup, my outdoor shelf where I like to keep my succulents. Hello, beautiful. Especially these ones. Look how dark the color is. Look at that. This is my hybrid. There you go, Lagosa, Laulensis, Crosseragosa. So this is actually my babies. So this is a Liske hybrid and you can see the pointy long ones are from the Saragossa side. And then of course the coloration is from the Laulensis side. And some of them are even showing signs of like almost variegating. Look at that. Like I think that happens because they haven't been fertilized for a long time and they're living off this soil which is about I think three years old. <laughs> And I haven't fertilized it at all. So, and you can even tell that that's sort of really compacted. But we had uh, rain two nights ago. And okay, the weeds are growing. So some of them sort of died. Like that one there, the, the weed that is. And then, of course, with a little bit of water, it comes back to life. Since this video is about shelves, this is the newest shelf or shelf that I've got. This is actually like a mini greenhouse, but very flimsy. I don't advise you buy this. It's not really, well, put it this way. It's not really worth the money if you have to pay full price, but I got this on a clearance sale. So I only paid like, I think $10 or something. So I got two of them. The other one, I think I paid full price, $20. <laughs> and this one was like half price. Now this area here, I've got a one, two, three shelf where I house my pretties. So these ones I like to come out here in the back and this is what I see first. And so I put pretty plants in here and I need to change oh, even that one. Look gorgeous. Oh, it's so beautiful. I need to report you. Yeah, Pachyveria Ruth. Now this one here, oh, look at this one. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh, you've got two heads. What happened to you? Oh, two-headed, lovely bear. Anyway, so these are, oh look, it's just my opal necklace. I love that plant. And this one's here now, you can see that I build up, put a lot of this thing here, that's not there, that's not part of the shelf. So when I bought the shelf, it was only like a one, a two, and a three a shelf. You can see that it's been rusting. It used to be white, but now it's all rusted. I've actually cleaned it off and put this one as well because the the shelf in the middle, that's all gone. So this now I have to amend it and put some uh, chicken wire or mesh. Anyway, oh yes, I would like to show you this one. So we're talking about the shelf, but there's no excuse to not talk. <laughs> about beautiful plants. Now this one is 
what's your name? Red Velvet. Okay. Now, this is a two-headed plant. So when I got it, they look the same. So you can see the nice and short and pudgy look of that one there. And on the opposite side, hang on, they're in the same area, the same pot. Look, that one is like longer, isn't it? So that goes to show that this is actually a hybrid already. Now, if I compare this with my other lovely bear, which is over here, not lovely bear, I got lovely bear in the brain, red velvet. Okay, so this one is also red velvet. This is now out in the open, so you can see the difference. So the same plant, but the one on the right has gone really long and then the other one on the left is nice and round see so also those ones okay hang on i'm twisted okay see that's the same as that one and actually this is more compact so even that one there and then this one has got more coloring because it's more out in the open there and then this one i just moved that there where i had it growing in my other shelf which is this one here and you can see all those rusty bits. It wasn't rusty before. It used to be, see the silver or chrome, actually. That's more chrome. Anyway, so this is also one of the later one that I've got. And this is only about less than two years old. And look at that. So look at the state of that. So I don't really like it. That's supposed to be indoors, not outdoors. So that's from Kmart. And then this one's here. I got this one from the reject shop. They were like $50 each. That Kmart one, that was like, I think, I don't know, I think 100 something. But anyway, but I'm not happy with it. Plus also, look, you can see if you have pots like this, <laughs> that goes in there they fall off and then they all go wonky so that's why i have to sort of have this elevated like that because i can't find see look oh there you go but it's all not very good see look oops see it's all i don't like it now go back there there you go that's better <laughs> anyway this burner lens is sort of hanging down anyway so that's okay when i started growing succulents the first shelves that i bought were this ones Okay, this one's this um, galvanized shelf. So you can see this one. This is very, 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 very high because I've extended that. So the normal height would be about here and then I'm going to pan across, okay? So should be to here. And then I've extended that up to the top, basically. So this is like a one, two, three, four, five shelf okay six panels including the top and then normally this got one two three four they only come in four but again you can see in the bottom there forget about the mess don't mind the mess because we're not here to talk about the mess or see the mess i'm just showing you the shelf so you can have the configuration we're in what i did is i removed the bottom panel and so that way i can put more plants in there and so I can adjust the height of each panel basically or each shelf and next to it you can see that that's not a standard issue one I've extended it as well just like the one behind me and of course standard issue on the left hand side is the same as that galvanized shelf over there when I bought this shelf this gal galvanized shelf many years ago it would be about six years ago when I bought this, maybe longer. Oh yeah, actually some of them actually came from the other house. So that was, oh my goodness, that was like uh, almost 20 years ago. And they're all still intact. So if you, as you can see, we're just gonna have a peep. There's another galvanized shelf there, hang on. There's more in there <laughs> and there's more there, but it's got other stuff that's holding it. And this one now you can see that this oh this is sorry this is not from the same one this is actually from ikea this is a different one this i think i bought four of them so three inside the house and this one i thought i'll take it for a test run and put it out here and is this one as well from ikea when i bought this this is like ten dollars but then now of course the price has increased so it's like one two three four shelf and look how beautiful this uh, El Hierro 
El Hierro. <laughs> Mountain rose. Look at you, it's starting to form like a rose. Do you see the center? Hang on. The sun. Okay, there you go. See, the center is like budding up like a little rose. The rosette is forming. <coughs> oh, that's heavy. Okay, so let's go to the other side. Oh, so many pretty plants. Oh, my goodness. Where did I put? Oh, yes. Also, yes, this is one of my latest baby. This is Charming Rose. I've actually hidden it because it's co being covered by the super bang so that way it doesn't get burned so it's just there and then that way i can water it even this one what what's your name this is also yang shi or i don't know maybe maybe it looks like a maybach isn't it it's yang shi hang on can't see yang shi can't see but anyway let's go to the other shelf oh look lily pad hello this is nice and fat i already took some cuttings of this one and I didn't want to take more because look, it's so pretty. And that one there has already spread out. It was all compact before. Now it opened up because I put it out here in shaded position because as the weather warms up, which is still pretty cold actually, then they will close off like this, like this one's here. So this Grenovia, I need to propagate this once while there's still time. Once the temperature hits to 25 degrees, I'm not touching any of my Ioniums for propagation. I have to leave them. Oh, look, more bigger ones here. See, they're still producing babies. So while they're still growing, it means you can still take cutting. So look, even those ones there, look. Ah, uh, there you go. Are you, yeah, they're all Grenovia. And like this one, I think this is a different variety. You look different. Oh, where did you come from? But anyway, so this area here shows the same galvanized shelves. That is my favorite because look, the wind, oh my goodness, it's just coming, my hair is just being blown all over the place right now <laughs> to my face. I hate it. But anyway, don't like the wind. Now I can work with the heat and the cold but or froze but when it's windy it's like i can't even speak or i can't think i can't oh don't want to do the garden but anyway now this are uh, one two three four okay so this is actually one two three shelf that i spread out into four that way i can have more area where they can sun up so you can see that this thing that i bought or the shelf my favorite shelf is basically adjustable so see the configuration here so i've got it sort of steps down and it steps up so that's only half of it because the whole thing hang on see this uh leg only comes to there and then you attach see the other half over here it's very easy to assemble and then it goes up to here so i don't know what height is that i will uh, tell you later on i will write it because i don't know how high that is i think 1.6 meter high i think roughly by i think 800 or less than a meter are you a meter no less than a meter so anyway but the depth as well i think 350 or something like that so <laughs> i'll write the measurement so but anyway guys so this is my favorite shelf and of course if i step back here and you can see now that uh, all those bits there i've add on but that's another story and all, of course here as well on this side as well, I've got another shelf here. They are my favorite shelf. Now, if, if you say you need more room for the sun or the light to go through the plant, you can remove one panel. You can only have, say, one in the bottom and then two uh, and then three at the top. So that way you can eliminate um, another panel and then you have more room or for the light to penetrate your plant. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. So you can see that. And also, yeah, okay, add on again. I say goodbye. And then see this one is another shelf. But the issue with this, again, you can see rust. I hate it. So now this one, maybe give it another six months. Then I have to redo that. I have to do some rust kills and... Uh, $50 or $25, maybe $30 on rust scale just to do this bit. And of course, this other, you can see this little thing here. Look, it's wonky. 
I have to reinforce that or else this whole thing might just drop and it's going to be a disastrous. Actually, I should really attend to that because that's not looking very good. So I'm just worried that this thing now is going to drop and a lot of pretty plants are in here. So again, guys, behind me, this is also uh, the same one and the same configuration as the other ones. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video because look, I've got all these pretty plants that I've got here. So not all shelves are alike. <laughs> and also here's my biggest shelf is that one. I will still keep that for I think another three years. That's still good four. I got three of them. Of course, this is quite big, but again, the same thing. I might have to strip it all off. I mean, take off all the plants. That's what I meant because it's all starting to rust as well. It's not as bad in here, but down here, look, look at that. That's really, really bad. So they need to be treated or else that will just fall apart. And also that's not good because it drops on the plant and the plant gets affected by the rust. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for this video. So this is our, my favorite uh, succulent shelves and of course my favorite <laughs> chihuahua yensis is putting out babies okay that's all i've got now hello beautiful babies oh look agita rose i've actually reported it oh my goodness look hang on it was in a small pot before i'm not gonna damage you okay and also yes i've got my hello compton carousel I haven't watered you yet, so you can stay there. And it was protected from the rain. Hang on, that one is still pretty light. So anyway, those are the onslow. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, babies. Hello. Echeveria TM Polydones. And look, I've got an ant on my arm. Where did you come from? You got blown off by the wind. You are the wind and <laughs> beneath your wings. Oh, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. More babies. I love it.